In the same way, we can solve the inequalities using this periodic properties. So suppose I have an inequality, f, fraction part of x, suppose greater than zero. Now again, what I'll do is, I'll let x belongs to zero to one. I'll solve this condition. Whatever result I'll get, suppose I get x belongs to x1 and x2 and this result it must lie within 0 comma 1 and then finally I'll generalize it. So x belongs to nt plus x1 to nt plus x2. Now say for example, now suppose the question is 2 times fraction part of x minus 1, fraction part of x minus 2, fraction part of x plus 3 and 3 minus 4 fraction part of x. So what I'll do is I'll let x belongs to 0 to 1. So now I can write it as 2x minus 1, x minus 2, x plus 3 and 3 minus 4x is greater than or equal to 0. So if I find the critical point, so it'll be 1 by 2, 2 minus 3 and 3 by 4. So the values will be minus 3 and then 1 by 2 and then 3 by 4 and then 2. What is the sign of the rightmost? Sign of the rightmost is minus. So it will be minus plus minus plus and minus. I need what? Greater than 0. Greater than 0 is positive. Now 1 by 2 and 2, they will be included. And minus 3 and 4, 3 by 4 will not be included. Now this result, it has come with the condition and the condition was the value of x should lie between 0 and 1. So the value of x should lie between 0 and 1. 0 included and 1 not included. So answer to this question will be x belongs to included 0 to included 1 by 2 union 3 by 4 to 1. Now I need to generalize it. So I can generalize it as x belongs to, so its fundamental period is 1. So this is n to n plus 1 by 2 union n plus 3 by 4 to n plus 1 where n belongs to integer. So, so in any question which involves just the fraction part function, see recall here also there is no other function except for fraction part of x. There is not even a single x other than fraction part of x. So in that case we can always find the solution between 0 and 1 and then because we know fraction part of x is a predict function. So we can generalize the result. So we can always generalize the result adding n to it. So this is from n to n plus 1 by 2 union n plus 3 by 4 to n plus 1. So this is how we use periodicity of fraction part function to solve equations and inequalities. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist and select the topic you wish to study.